Hey guys, it's Miss Crystal and we're gonna talk about some books. So, um, April is Poetry Month. Did you know that? It's National Poetry Month. So I decided that today's theme was going to be, I didn't have enough poetry books to do this, okay? So I decided today's theme was just gonna be like alternative structures, thinking outside of the box, you know? Um, anywho, I'm gonna start with my teen books. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna start with my teen books and we'll see where we get, okay? So, A Universe of Witches is up. Why do you witches? A Universe of Wishes. Here we go. So these are all the authors down here, it's so many. Um, it's basically an anthology um, of short stories, poems, what have you, by different authors in the YA genre, like prominent authors in the YA genre, um, and they're writing mostly fantasy pieces. So if you like fantasy, or if you, also if you like see some of these authors and you're like, oh, I wanna read, I, I wanna read their book, but I don't know if it's gonna be good. I say like, give this a shot, read their story, see if you like their style of writing and you can continue on to their novels, you know? Um, but also they, um, they sometimes, sometimes the authors are bringing it back to worlds that they already created. Um, so I know like Schwab, Victoria Schwab, she like kind of brought it back to a darker shade of magic and used some characters from there. Um, I don't believe you need to know who these people are in order to understand and get what you need to get from the story, but it can enrich it if you have already read some of these people's pieces. But anyway, a universe of wishes, give it a shot. I love a good short story collection, you know, cute. Okay, next one. Love and English. So, Love and English is about this girl, Anna. So, Anna is an immigrant and she can like, she was a poet. She, her native language is Spanish and she was a poet and, um, I mean, she still is, you know, but um, she can't do it really in English because, you know, she's trying to learn something new and it's very hard to be creative in something that you can like, barely understand so yeah she's just like feeling especially for someone who's so creative with words to feel like super stunted um all of a sudden is probably very hard I, I honestly can't imagine so yeah and then on top of that she has a crush on two different boys and she's not able to really vocalize like how she feels about that but she is able to understand the like feelings are the same across the board, regardless of like what language you speak. Everyone can understand what like love feels like, you know? So I don't know, I think it's very cute and romantic and um, it incorporates a little bit of poetry because like I said, I'm as a poet um, and I love that. So here we go. Next one, these two are my middle grade. So these are the most experimental ones I have. Um, Pity Party by Kathleen Lane. So Pity Party, um, it is so interesting. So it, this one is a hard one to like summarize to people um, because it's not really about one thing. Um, Kathleen writes, I wanna say like vignettes. So like little short story. Yeah, there's some stories in here. It's like stories, poems, quizzes, ads, just anything. It's like a mixed barrage, like a hodgepodge of things. And they all center around like mental health essentially and like um, trying to trying to communicate something about like anxiety or like depression or whatever that can't be easily communicated by just saying those words. So she tries to do it in like this funny, like humorous way and incorporating all these different tech all these different writing techniques to like tell you something about something. <laughs> so I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was interesting. And um, I definitely would suggest giving it a try at any age, to be honest. Okay. The Canyon's Edge. So this one is such a doozy. Um, The Canyon's Edge is about, what's her name? Nora. Yeah, Nora. She is, so her birthday is happening when you first open the book. And it is one year since this like terrible and traumatic death of her mom. Her mom was shot, she was murdered. Um, 
And so to get their mind off of it, her and her dad take an exploration to like the, I think the Grand Canyon or can't, I don't know. They went to Grand Canyon, they went somewhere and um, they went hiking, um, but they like got stuck in the cave that they were like exploring, I guess. Um, and so now she like has to find her way out of it. So it's like a testament to like physical strength, mental strength, how those things play off of each other. Um, the first part of the book is in regular prose, I want to say. And then the second part, um, when she is just like completely enveloped in her experience is in poetry. So as in verse. So I think it's a good mix of the two. Um, yeah, it's really good. I don't know. Give it a shot. So those are my four books that I have picked out. And, um, I think that concludes April for me. Also, okay, so housekeeping. I said in the first post that we're doing the March to May Million. We're still doing that. If you have pages that you would like to submit and you don't know how, give us a call and we'll help you. If you need help keeping track of your pages and you want a little booklet, come by and we will help you. We'll just we'll just help you with anything, okay? So, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys, talk to you guys later. Bye.